What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here bringing you Splinter Lens content daily. We also stream over on Twitch at This Is After Sound. All right, today's episode is actually, uh, I guess, not really Splinter Lens related, although I will make it all connect in a moment. Uh, a couple days ago on the Hive blog, Agroad posted this, looks like five days ago, about fee structures changing uh, within the Hive engine and more specifically, well, let's let's start from the, the the top here. He's saying that the problem is that there's not enough liquidity in the decentralized exchanges, uh, namely the diesel pool. So if you've ever used tribal decks, and I use tribal decks quite a bit, uh, there is not as much liquidity as they would like there. So they are reducing fees in one area. They're lowering lowering the gateway fees from one percent to 075 percent, uh, but that's not the part that. I, I made this video about. It's the next part where pools will now have, uh, so they're going to introduce foo fees on, <laughs> introduce foos on the peas. Nope, that's a, definitely not what we're going to do. They're going to introduce fees on the pools and uh, the pools will now have a 0.25% fee per transaction. Now note here, 100% of fees will go to the liquidity provider or the liquidity providers. So if you have uh, your DEC in pools, so this is I'm going to tie it back in. If you're familiar with the airdrop and you have your DEC in the liquidity pools, then you are able to, well, first things, you are able to get double the value of DEC in airdrop, I'm sorry, in airdrop points, the ones that are in these liquidity pools and tribal decks counts. Uh, so now, if you already had that, you'll be getting an additional benefit where you'll be getting this 0.25% fee paid out to you. Again, it's across all transactions paid out to the liquidity pools. Um, the other benefit, though, is let's say you don't necessarily want to stake your SPS or you want to do DEC and something else. Who knows? There's a bunch of different positions here. So I'm on Tribal Dex right now. And let's go ahead and see. Within DEC... You can do DEC and Hive. You can do DEC and SPS. You can do DEC and B. And it looks like, oh, it looks like these already have LP rewards. Although what this was saying was that it's not going to go live until 125. So I don't know if these are something else, but, uh, oh, these are probably, these are probably separate rewards. So you get something additional on top of that, which is kind of nice. If we go to SPS here, let's see. So SPS, you can do with DEC. B and swap.hive. Those are the ones that have rewards right now. But again, there will also be, in addition to rewards, there will also be the fees that will be paid out to you. And you can see SPS, uh, if you have some of these other coins here, right? So vouchers, swap.btc, swap.eth, all of these should be paying out fees after the 25th or at least 8 p.m. Eastern on the 25th. Now, if you are not familiar with... Uh, uh, I'm sorry, if you're not familiar with liquidity pools, then uh, actually I was going, I was going to say that you can just go to, uh, what's his name? Bulldog made a fantastic video a while back. That's going to be a lot more in depth than this on how to set up a liquidity pool. So I would highly recommend it. He's got great content. And uh, let's see here if I can just show you if you have your tokens, whatever it is that you need. And right now I don't have it. But if I were to have, for example, Hive and DEC, I can go to add liquidity, hit uh, swap to Hive and DEC, and then add in. So you see, it shows the different balances that I have here. Actually, if you guys will just excuse me for a moment, why don't we go through and I will add some in on the swap dot hive and DEC. So you can see me doing it in real time. So basically I want to have half and half, right? So 163, I'm going to put 81.5 of that into swap dot hive. So let's go ahead and swap that. Now here's the thing, as a user of this, this, all these transactions used to be free. Now there's going to be a 0.25% fee every single time I do something like that. So I don't know, that'll be interesting. <clears throat> All right, so now that I have half in DEC and half in swap.hive, I can go over to add liquidity and we'll go to the swap.hive and you can see here, I'll just hit the max amount and I can go ahead and add liquidity and my liquidity will be there. Now I believe I'm already, or I've already added some into it. 
Oh, I'm sorry, I already had some in there. So let's go ahead and just see my positions. Yeah, so this just got added to what I had in. So as you can see, so for example, swap.hive and DEC, these are the shares that I have, or not the shares, these are the, these are the quantities that I have of each, right? So swap.hive and DEC. And I am getting rewards. This is on a daily basis. Every 24 hours, I'm getting 0.025B token and uh, you know whatever this NFTM token is. I, again, these are very, very tiny. I'm getting one and a half cents every single day in terms of rewards. But in addition to this, I will also be receiving uh, the uh, uh, my share right of the uh, overall of the overall fees that will be paid to this pool. Okay. Um, again, while the airdrop is going, the third benefit on top of that will be that I get double the airdrop points. So if I have like forty two thousand DEC here, I'll be getting double that. So about eighty four thousand airdrop points in my account for the SPS airdrop. So adding in these fees now gives me a third benefit for the time being until the airdrop is over. And then even once the airdrop is over, I'll still be rewarded with the rewards that we have here, as well as the fees paid out. Now, I made a video about this a while back about the dangers of impermanent loss when it comes to liquidity pools. If you have one asset going up in price versus one asset going down in price, your money can get stuck or you will not be able to, and that's why it's called impermanent loss because it's not permanent. You just wouldn't be able to pull out the full value until the price is rebalanced or stabilized. But again, I would highly recommend looking into that. This is not risk-free. This is not risk-free. All I'm trying to tell you is that there's an added benefit now and you will be able to take advantage of that starting on the 25th. So if you want to move around some funds, potentially have some you know, DEC or Hive or exposure to both, it's definitely not a bad idea. All right. So hopefully this is helpful. If you have any questions or you want me to go in depth anymore, let me know. I know this is more like the crypto decentralized finance DeFi stuff uh, and not necessarily game related, but you do get benefits in the game again for being part of the ecosystem, right? The broader hive ecosystem rather than just the Splinterlands ecosystem. And I know many, many people are uh, engaged with this and using Hive Engine and Tribal Dex. Uh, I know that I do quite a bit. So again, if you have any questions on this, I know it seems complicated, but uh, happy to try and answer them in the comments or to do a video that goes a little bit more in depth to whatever you're looking for. But just wanted to share this with you. And that is all I have. Have an amazing rest of your day. I will see you around the game and I will catch you all in the next video. Take care.